do a little scheming this morning, guys. Um, I've touched on this briefly before on how, you know, I try to process through making these sort of larger investments where I think it could save money in the end. This is not rocket science. This is just basic math, but it's about finding the resource and finding the, the, the item or the commodity or the product that you need that you're actually going to make the use out of. Something I stumbled across the other day, actually through a whole different venture, but I went into one of the local um, pine mills that's right here in my own hometown, and I knew there was a sawmill there, but I never knew what they did. Well, it turns out they make uh, pine flakes, bedding flakes, which we actually use quite a bit of with the goats when we're, when we're kidding. When we have the goats in the stalls, at least, we go through a lot of flakes because we're cleaning the stalls almost, you know, every day, if not every other day. Uh, and they're pretty pricey. We're going and buying them retail. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go through this example with you guys on what I'm looking at. And I've got it all written out here on my, this is my fancy ledger right here where I, where I wrote out all the details. So going through the normal retail route, uh, I want to say it was about a four and a half or five cubic bag cubic foot bag for um, about six dollars which worked out to 92 cents a cubic foot uh, I called okay so just remember that number we will go to 92 cents a cubic foot whatever now the question is usage right are we gonna use it all anyway so I, I called the mill you know knowing that they're, they're gonna be a wholesale only sort of deal but what I have found a lot of these places you go in there you talk to them they go sorry we're wholesale only and you just say okay what's it gonna take to be a retailer that can buy from you and they usually say ah you know what what do you want we'll sell it to you but what they're not going to do is sell you one bag here and there at your leisure there's, there's going to be some minimum order what have you so i actually called and talked to their salesman and asked him that it posed the question said look man no i don't have a store right now but you know what i'll open one if the price is right if it works out in my in my benefit i'll open a little store i don't care um, so he said, oh yeah, well, you know, you've got to be a, a legitimate business, which by his standards, he said, you got to have a storefront, you got to have some regular business hours, you know, what have you. But it, and I, you know, I kicked it around with him. I said, look, man, nobody, I want to sell these things online. Like, why do I have to have a legitimate storefront to sell online? And basically the reason that they want to try to be protective is he says, you know, we, we, we have other stores already in your area that are carrying our product, you know, we have to try to protect their interests if we're going to work with you also you know we don't want to upset them fair enough anyway so we discussed it all finally what he told me was look he said if you were to come in here and buy a whole truckload which is a lot of shavings you know no questions asked we'll hook you up buddy but he said right now our small local stores that are buying from us he said they're buying a four pallet minimum they're coming in and picking it up themselves now that's four pallets each pallet of shavings has 45 bales on it, uh, bales, bags, whatever you want to call it. They call them bales. Each pallet has 45 bales, and each of their bales is eight cubic feet. So it's already a bigger bale than um, what what the other retail places have. It's already a bigger bale, plus their stuff has got all these, you know, for what it's worth, certifications as far as being a green renewable product, organic, blah, blah, blah. So it is a high quality, product i told the salesman it's kind of funny i said man no offense i said but i i've been in a lot of the small stores around here and i have not seen your your label your logo and um you know I, he he couldn't reference any offhand he didn't really know he's kind of an out of office you know traveling salesman whatever but and and i said you know i just was curious i said i've never even heard of it and it just seems to make sense to me that if you guys are right here in town you should be selling to all the local places it drops logistics costs right at the end of the day, I think it all comes back to cost, cost, right? Your, your retail places that are selling shavings, they're going to get the absolute dirt cheapest shaving that they can get. They're going to get it in potentially a smaller bag because that makes the bag price cheaper. The average consumer walks in and goes, oh yeah, I can afford a $6 bag of shavings. And they think, man, I can't afford a $10 bag of shavings. But ultimately, you know, you're getting more for that $10. Now, so in this case, Anyway, I talked it all over with him. He said, look, the minimum you're going to have to do if you want to be a business to get from us, four pallet minimum, come pick it up yourself. So we're not hauling it to you because, of course, they charge for it anyway. Uh, so four pallet minimum times 45 bales times eight cubic feet works out to 1,440 cubic feet. However, the price per cubic foot is 53 cents versus the retail places being closer to a dollar. We'll say 92 cents was the number I'd figured up. 
So almost double the price if you go and buy it from the average retail place. And that's not accounting for taxes if you're not tax exempt. So 53 cents per cubic foot, 1,440 cubic feet, I would spend $763.20. Now I need a place to store these four great big pallets of shavings. My father-in-law is getting already frustrated with me taking advantage of his uh, little carport that he has here. This is the kid's basketball court, but I've got a big stack of lumber there. I've got stuff all stacked out in his lean-to in the shop. I'm gonna have to get my own storage. That's a cost I haven't rolled into this, but that's a one-time cost. That is a asset in my opinion. Builds your little pole barn, dunzos, right? Hey, the pole barn is your store, right? So, works perfectly. Anyway, so my cost to do their minimum purchase, $763.20. Am I gonna use 1,440 cubic feet? Probably not. So, I would sell the excess to other people that need the shavings. I'll sell them, you know, I would consider selling them just at my cost, just to get my money back. But hey, look, if I can mark it up a little bit and still beat local retail and, you know, I'll be, look, tell you what, I'll be fair. I will not undersell local retail. That way I'm not just a cheater. You know, hey, if the local guys are asking, whatever their price is, I'll match their price, okay? I'm not out to beat them. I'm not out to kill somebody else. You know, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to benefit myself and help somebody else, you know, and, and be able to help somebody else local too if I can. So, okay, so anyway, 1,440 cubic feet is gonna cost me $763.20. If I were to go get that same cubic footage, assuming that I'm gonna use it all through retail, it would cost me $1,325. Um, that is a difference of $561. So again, almost double the price. Now, let's just say that I'm able to sell, let me I'll tell you what, let me pause this, do some math, I'm gonna come back in and show you where the real money comes in. Okay, do the math work here. Uh, my, my ledger is expanding. Okay, so what we wanted to figure out now is if I sell off some excess. Now, I don't know how much that's going to be. I have no idea how much I'm going to use. For one goat, kidding, uh, she was in the stall for like six weeks that we were burning through shavings. I'm just going to say we bought 10 bales of shavings. It was 60 bucks. That would have been 40 cubic feet. So it's easy to believe if we have nine does, kid, this winter, we're gonna burn through several hundred cubic feet, okay? So here's what I went with. I just said, heck, let's just say I use half, okay? So we've, we've now bought 1,440 cubic feet at a price of $763. I'm gonna use half of it, 720 cubic feet, and I'm gonna sell the other half, and I said I'm gonna sell it where I match local retail, so I'm not undercutting the local retail guys, okay? I'm just another option if people want it, okay? So we're gonna sell it, and that's actually an interesting conservative approach to take because I could I could sell it for less in order to guarantee that I sell it and I would get less revenue. But, you know, for me to be fair and competitive with local guys, whatever, I'm going to say that I'm going to sell it at 92 cents a cubic feet. So 720 cubic feet out the door, 92 cents a cubic feet, 662 cubic feet. Or $662, I'm sorry, $662. So what I'm left with is I spent $763 to get all of it. I turned around and sold half of it for $662. My net out of pocket was I spent $101 plus whatever the time is, you know, to go pick it up and, and store it, okay? I spent $101 and I used 720 cubic feet. My cost for my 720 cubic feet comes out to 14 cents per cubic foot versus retail of going and buying 92 cents a cubic foot. So is it worth it to buy the shavings in bulk and retail the excess? I do believe so. It's always a gamble. It's always a question of whether or not anyone's gonna come buy it, right? The average person is probably not going to go out of their way to come to me to save a few cents per cubic foot. They're definitely not gonna come out of the way to match retail price. So in order for me to make sure I sell it and get some money back, I'm gonna have to go a little below the other retail guys or I'm gonna have to offer some service or I'm gonna have to offer a bulk option. My preference, would be to just go to somebody else and say, hey man, I bought all of it, I put the cash up front, you wanna buy half, okay? So sell it all to one person, heck, I'll deliver it to them, I'll stack it in their barn, done. Got your money, you're out of here. That is something that people would actually pay for. Yes, I'd have a little bit more time and labor into it, right? But that's negligible and it, it's, it's hard to calculate that now, not knowing where it would go, right? But ultimately, in the end, I could get all the shavings that I need not a problem 
uh, and basically break even. I could go back and redo the math and just say, hey, what's the break even? Okay, if I only use 700 cubic feet and I sell the other 740, it's getting pretty close pretty quick, okay, on breaking even. So, is it worth it? Yeah. Am I gonna do it? Ah, I'd like to, but before I can even consider it, I gotta have a place to store it. I've gotta build me a little pole barn with some metal sides. But anyway, just something I was kicking around today, looking at, like I said, it's one of those opportunities that I stumbled on. And when I, when I go through these, these scheming exercises that I've talked about before, and you know, just consider the dollars and cents, it, it almost always makes sense. If you have the cash to throw at it and you have a, you know, you want a quick return. And that's where it gets, of course, always scary. That's why stuff is more expensive retail, obviously, because the retailer has put up the cash up front and they put it on the shelf for your convenience to come in and get it. So if you're gonna compete with them, you gotta be able to offer something better that benefits the consumer. You gotta be able to bring it to them uh, or you gotta be able to get it to them at a better price that's worth it for them to come to you versus going to anybody else, right? That's just basic business sense. So anyway, I do have the cash. I could do this. I just need a place to store it. I may or may not. You may, may not particular reason why I didn't list any of the retailers or the supplier that I talked to because I don't necessarily want somebody else to be my competition with this same little model idea but this is just one idea the wood shavings you can do this with anything people do it all the time selling online and selling on Facebook or whatever you know again it's not rocket science just a little exercise I was running through here and uh, figured I'd share it with you guys because it's got me excited maybe it'll work